would you do? The only thing I could. No way. Way! You're so cool. <gasps> Clover? Yeah, are you okay? I'm more than okay. I'm in love. Ew, <sighs> Caitlin's brother? We really have to get her a blindfold. Why, hello, Rick. So good to see you. Hey, Clover. How would you love to give me a ride home? I can't. Gotta go to the mall. Nice skirt. Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> I gotta get my kid sister a birthday present today. I bet his kid sister wouldn't wear something like this. My mom wouldn't wear something like that. Maybe you should just be yourself, Clover. Be myself? Hello, Rick's a senior. As in he's used to sophisticated women. Yeah, but if a person doesn't like you for who you are. You guys, we're in the spy business. Reinventing ourselves is what we do. <laughs> 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 Girls, we have a worldwide problem on our hands. Vital members of society have stopped doing their jobs. They're only interested in playing with toys. Toys? You're huh? kidding, right? Unfortunately, I'm quite serious. Whoa! This chaos will turn into pandemonium unless we nip it in the bud. And so, your mission is to go undercover as buyers. Finally! A mission I can relate to. As we speak, there's a toy fair going on in Taiwan. Perhaps you can find a clue there as to who's behind this bizarre phenomenon. I have assembled some gadgets for you. There's the Magna Belt. Huh? Yeah, that's a little too Elvis for me. The TAD, or tracking accessory device. It can be activated by your compounders. Infrared heat detector glasses. The manicure kit with press-on sticky fingers and laser nail file. Oh, does it have cherry blossom red in it? And electric blue. Perfect. Ah! And lastly, the ejector bead bracelet. Oh, careful with that one. It's still in development. By the way, I like your new look, Clover. Very sophisticated. My mother has a suit just like it. the toys how awesome cool childish did you see how wonderful the vladimir kozirev line was you really have to say that vladimir vladimir kozirev is the most popular booth at the convention guess we know where to start cool i'd say we're definitely in the right place Welcome to the Vladimir huh? Kozarev booth, ladies. Thanks. We hear your toys are all the rage. What my associate means to articulate is, is that we've uh, observed a positive reaction to your toy line. Yeah, they're all the rage. I've never heard of Vladimir Kozarev before. Are his toys in stores yet? No, we're a brand new company. Really? No one's had a chance to play with them. This is our big debut. I see. Why don't you take some toys, ladies? Hey! What? Go on, open them. You'll see their appeal instantly. Really. Maybe later. Right now we need to make a phone call. <laughs> Samples your way, Jer. They're from the Vladimir Kozarev Toy Company. Ow! 
the rep said the company's brand new, but the packaging's ancient, like from the 70s. Not only that, all the toys in the Whoop playback were from their toy line. Good work, girls. I'll let you know what we find out. Let's go over the mission while we're waiting to hear from Jerry. Better yet, let's go over how I'm going to impress Rick while we're stuck in stupid Taiwan. Taiwan's not stupid, Clover. It's exotic and interesting. Good angle. Why didn't I think of that? Hi, Rick. It's Clover. Oh, nothing much. I'm just calling from exotic and interesting Taiwan. Huh? That was fast. Huh? Jerry says there's no record of a Vladimir no Kozirev company anywhere. Way. Well, somebody has to be making these toys. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? <laughs> <gasps> Rick, I'm gonna have to call you back. This is so sixth grade. Yeah, Sammy, cut it out. Make me. Oh! Leave me alone! Her mother? Well, in, in that outfit. <sighs> you behave, young lady, or you're going to your room. Huh? <sighs> we better tell Jerry what's going on. Hi, Jerry. Oh, look, everyone, it's Clover. Red <laughs> Rover, Red Rover, send Clover over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not Jerry, too. We have to figure out what's up with these toys before Jerry and Sam and everyone else are stuck like this forever. stuff we saw when we were here before. The Barkaroo! Shh! <gasps> ooh, ooh, Megatronic Action Hero! Shh! The Beauty Queen! Yeah! Shh! <gasps> it's Mommy's doll! They have Mommy's doll! Hey, my mom had one of those, too! The little Anne! She said it was the hottest thing when she was a kid. Why? It doesn't even light up. Let's see who manufactured this baby. The little Ann. <gasps> hey! Run! Trespassers are headed for the alley. Get rid of them. Permanent. Manufactured by the Little Ann Toy Company in Russia in 74. They stopped production a few years later. Didn't you say the packaging on the Vladimir Kozarev line was from the 70s? See you on the Little Ann Toy Company. 
Vladimir Kozarev. Of course, they're one and the same. He's still using his old factory to make these new toys. Guess we know where we're headed. A lot of security for a toy factory. We need to get inside. for the next shipment. Rodney, help me get these inside. Huh? <gasps> hey, there's a malfunction in this doll. And trash it. Two for the next shipment. The Tad says Sam's in here. This is almost as big as your closet. is and reprogram it. I can't log on. Password's usually obvious, because they think no one will go for the obvious, like, uh, toys. Huh? Okay. Little Anne? Obviously he doesn't know the rules. Now what? Huh? Works for me. <laughs> At least it'll slow him down while we... We have intruders! Revenge, of course. Children who once adored my little Anne have grown up and forgotten the joy, the simplicity. They're only interested in high-tech gizmos and silly electronic toys. Uh, dude, I think she was talking about the outfit. Totally. Now, about this whole revenge thing, it won't bring back the little Anne. Of course it will. Adults across the world will be forced to remember the joy of the little Anne as soon as I regress them to the children they once were. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, can I go with you, please? Now, why can't you have an attitude like that? 
Up aboard, my little elf. No, Sam, Simon says no. You'll never get away with this! Rick will never know the joy of me! Hey, it's not my fault! Push me! Huh? Now where'd they go? <laughs> hey, little boy! I'll give you a lollipop if you untie me. No sign of Vladimir's sleigh. The Tad! about most in the world. Bell bottoms? The little Ann. His pride and joy. We've got to beat him at his own game. Oh! I don't get it. The old switcheroo! Don't you mean Barkaroo? Try to stay with me. We put the computer chip from the Barkaroo into the little Ann. It's so obvious he'll never suspect a thing. tickets to the opera. Would you care to join me? Opera? Clover, what happened? You look like my mom now. Hey, Rick. Are we still going to the street fair tonight? Sure, Mandy. <laughs> nice outfit. PTA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Excuse me, Professor. Could you tell me where the administration office is?
How may I help you? Let's see. Well, for starters, you can hand over all the cash you got in this dump. <gasps> Nobody move! <laughs> <laughs> It is very bright. I'm hoping it'll remind that hot new transfer student of his homeland. Where's he from again? Texas. Okay, here goes. Huh? huh? So, Billy Bob, if you're not too busy tomorrow night, maybe you'd like to go line dancing with me. Beverly Hills style, that is. Well, that's mighty hospitable of you, Mandy. I'd love to. Great, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. How dare you steal my look? Please, I was into Texas way before you. Char, Mandy practically invented the rhinestone. Totally. Besides, Billy's made up his mind. <clears throat> that girl is a fashion thief, and she is not going to get away with this. What the? Jerry? I think you girls know what this is all about. Cheese! Is this some kind of sick joke? That's not us robbing that bank. I am very disappointed in you girls. <sighs> Throw these girls into the electromagnetic holding tank until we get a chance to reprogram them. What do you mean, reprogram? We're going to implant behavioral modification chips into your brains. You'll never have another aggressive thought as long as you live. Ah, no, you guys don't! Get your hands no. off me! Jerry, help us! Sorry, girls. It's out of my hands. These gaudy electromagnetic boots are so cyber-repulsive. Not as repulsive as getting microchips implanted into our skulls. Gotta bust out of here and find those cheap knockoff bank robbers so we can clear our names! Good luck. Hang on, I've got a plan. Hey, what gives? Wow, you short circuited the boots! I can move my feet again. Great, but we're still stuck in this cell. Not for long. Ah! Huh? Bet Mandy's shoes wouldn't do that. They're escaping. Code 9. Code 9. Grab them so I can implant the microchips into their skulls. In here. Quick, grab whatever you can. We're going to need all the help we can get. Just relax, girls. It'll all be over with soon. Now! How are we gonna lose them? Time to fly, girls. How do I make this thing go? I can't even set my digital watch. Just do something!
can't believe Jerry almost microwaved my brain. We'd better get out of the air. We stick out like a sore thumb. Put it down next to that warehouse. I said next to the warehouse. Something reeks here, and I don't mean Alex's flying skills. Oh, gross! There's our culprit. Oh, look, my hair clip is actually a high-tech frisbee. That's no frisbee, it's a mini satellite. We can use this to link to Whoop's mainframe computer system. Maybe we can get a closer look at the surveillance footage Jerry showed us. We're in. Wait, go back. Watch the Clover imposter. She left a shred of my shirt. Oh. I mean, her shirt, on that cactus. Maybe it's still there. Too bad we're not allowed in that bank. Maybe there's a way to get inside the bank without raising suspicion. So much for not raising suspicions. Just act confident. That's easy for you to say. You're not dressed like a waiter. You're not a waiter, you're a driver. Just look for the shirt piece. Huh? Whoa. Hello, sir, madam. Can I help you with something? Oh, we're just looking at your lovely financial place to decide if we want to deposit all of our stocks and municipal things here. <laughs> you look very familiar. Uh, have we met before? Uh, that would be quite impossible. You see, we just moved here from uh, Swedenavia. Swedenavia? Oh, yes. Very small country. Very cold. Yes! <gasps> F found what? I'm sorry, found what? Oh, our driver seems to have found the lost keys to our limo. Uh, yes, we simply must be going now. The country club awaits. Uh, Ta-ta! Sir, you forgot your... Mustache? Wait a second, they were the bank robbers! This is weird. It almost feels like flesh. Look, the fabric contains traces of human DNA. No wonder it feels like flesh. Why would someone wear a shirt made out of flesh? I can't imagine that would breathe very well in warm weather. Huh? Look, she didn't rip her shirt. She ripped her skin. Ew! There's something else here, writing. Replitech Industries? What does that mean? Let's check out the Whoop database. Apparently, they're the medical lab that created this creepy material. I think it's time we pay Replitech a visit. Uh, I'll drive. <sighs> Cloak the helijet so we can make a stealthy landing on the roof. <laughs> wow! Now that's impressive. Check it out. Some sort of force field. Whatever it is, those birds didn't set off the alarms. Must be set to detect any metal that breaks its field. How are we going to investigate the building without giving ourselves away? <sighs> Why do I always get the cruddy jobs?
close. Close? Hello, in case no one noticed? I just got tossed around like a human yo-yo. Not to mention getting grabbed by... What's this? It looks like a fingernail. I have a hunch. Use the comp powder to check its composition. It's made of the same substance as the skin we found. But get this. The DNA matches Clover's DNA. Okay, no way. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that cheesy seafoam nail polish. The intruders have escaped, sir. So the spies are on to me. I underestimated them. It won't happen again. So what's the connection between the DNA, the robbery, and Repletech? I don't know, but I hope we figure it out soon. The prospect of spending another minute in this disgusting warehouse is like... Ah! Whoop! Must have trapped us! Keep it up, girls. We have the place surrounded. Scatter! Quick! Keep a tight perimeter. Don't let them get away. to Replitech and figure out what is going on before Jerry turns us into vegetables. But how are we going to break into Replitech? That place has tighter security than Fort Knox. Huh? I can get us in. I mean, <gasps> I think I saw a secret entrance in the forest. Huh? Okay, it's worth a shot. How are we going to get back to the island? The Helijet is swarming with whoop agents. Leave it to me. They must have slipped past us. Pull our agents out. <gasps> Where is my jet? You don't think Jerry will miss this, do you? Oh, Clover, it looks like you chipped your nail. Oh, must have happened when the warehouse collapsed. <laughs> what exactly are we looking for? I know I spotted some sort of hidden entrance around here somewhere. I don't know how you could have spotted anything in this dense forest. Ah! Okay, so I guess you were right about the secret entrance. Hey, wait a second. I thought you said you wouldn't be caught dead wearing cheesy seafoam nail polish. That's ridiculous. I love seafoam nail polish. Love it, seafoam. Seafoam, seafoam, love it, seafoam. Okay, take it easy. I like seafoam too. since they were little more than strands of DNA. Incredible likeness, don't you think? And to think that Clover was upset when Mandy stole her look. Now that's really stealing her look. Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Macker the Safe Cracker! It took my hair a year to grow back after that mission. As you can see, that fall took its toll on me. After I escaped from prison, I created those clones using DNA from your hair. Now I will destroy your lives the way you tried to destroy mine. I will now use my army of clones to rob the central bank in every country in the world at the exact same moment. Of course, everyone will think you girls perpetrated the crimes. Yeah, like you'll actually get away with that. Watch me! To your brains, girls! Excuse me, 
I must get to my command center in the Alps. Take them away! <laughs> Huh? Clover, you're alive! Yeah, me and a hundred cheap knockoff clovers. Did you see those things up there? Totally. That's why we've got to get out of here and stop Macker. But how? No! Good thing I decided to go with diamond tip spurs after all. Let's get to the out before it's too late. There's Macker. Looks like he's using the transmitter to control the clones. How are we gonna take out the transmitter? We'll have to figure out something, and fast. It's already started. Get into position, ladies. It's almost time. See if you have our moot. the time, girls. What's going on? Why aren't you robbing the banks? What do you think you're ah. doing to my beloved clones? Whoa, you ah. Ow! Ah. I my hair! Ah. Girls, it's okay. We realized that you were only trying oh, to clear your names. Oh, I guess we're lucky you figured it out before you gave us lobotomies. I hope you girls will accept my sincerest apology. Apology? apology? You'll be collecting your pension by the time you're done making this up to us. <laughs> oh, that snowball! Girls, please, listen, I'm sorry! Now that we've taken care of those stupid clones, it's time to win back Billy Bob and expose Mandy for the thief that she is. Thief? Don't you think that's kind of harsh? Well, that's what she is, but she won't have a chance to steal this new outfit. Um, I don't know how to break this to you, Clover, but... Oh, poo! That must be where I got my design ideas. I guess Mandy's not a thief after all. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I owe her an apology. <gasps> you thief! <gasps> Billy Bob? Oh, hey girls. I'd like to meet my new steady gal, Alpha. Isn't she so original? Steady gal? But, Billy Bob, I just designed this new outfit for you. Oh, well, honestly, I never really liked that whole cowgirl look. That's why I left Texas.
she did this, we ended up at the body piercing hut, remember? That's right. It took us four hours to convince her that a lip ring wasn't going to enhance her natural beauty. Relax, girls. This surprise is totally piercing free. Now, take off your blindfolds. Ta-da! Huh? The groovy smoothie shack? I don't get it, Clover. Are you thirsty or something? No. I'm here to sign up for the Miss Groovy Smoothie Beauty Contest. And you're here to support me. Huh? A food court beauty contest? You're kidding, right? I mean, you know beauty's only skin deep. Of course. I'm not kidding. And judging by the competition, I'd say I'm a shoe in for victory. Um, not so fast, Clover. This is my competition and mine alone. Nothing or no one is gonna stop me from becoming Miss Groovy Smoothie and launching my modeling career. <laughs> Yes, it is, because everyone who's ever won this contest has gone on to bigger and better things. And oh. I intend to join them, thank you very much. Now, why don't you and those cheap shoes of yours just step off? <laughs> the only thing that's cheap around here is your pathetic attempt at trying to get me to back down. Now, out of my way. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go plan my victory party. As F. Can you believe the nerve of that girl? Tell me about it. I mean, how dare she accuse you of wearing cut-rate shoes? I say we ditch them all, grab a many petty, and forget all about boring old Mandy. Deal. Deal. structure being quite this dark. Uh, Alex? Something tells me we're not at the mall anymore. Oh. Ah! 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 Hello, ladies. Jerry, shoulda known. Nice to see you, too. Now, allow me to brief you about your new mission. So much for that Manny Petty. We've just been informed that approximately a dozen models from all over the world have literally been stolen within the last 24 hours. What do you mean, stolen? We're currently en route to New York, where you three will go undercover as journalists at Fashion Week, a hugely important industry event where you'll have access to everyone who's anyone in the world of modeling. And you want us to see what we can find out about the abductions? Precisely. And now for the gadgets. Huh? This time you'll be utilizing the magnetic spring-loaded bungee belt in faux snakeskin, the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vest, a pair of hologram-projecting mood rings, the titanium drill heel boot for impromptu tunneling, and last but not least, the M-ray contact lens in aquamarine. M-ray? For seeing through metal. Now, goodbye and good luck, spies. I'll be in touch. <laughs> police, but this is ridiculous. Must be because of the abductions. Yes! Man, talk about a mob scene. Everyone's here to see the new model huh? phenom gazelle. Gazelle? She arrived on the scene practically overnight, and the witch is already getting all the available modeling work. That means me and the rest of the supermodels are pretty much out of luck. <laughs> I think we need a better view.
never seen anyone so, so perfect. It's unbelievable. Better keep an eye on her, Alex. Right. <gasps> What's she doing? Taking off her gloves. Huh. Now that's odd. What? The skin on her arms and hands. It's all sorts of different colors. Different colors? As in her tanning beds on the fritz? Different colors as in the Bride of Frankenstein. Maybe she's not so perfect after all. How about we go backstage for a closer look? Now, remember, we're supposed to be journalists, so act professional. Ew, nast! Not exactly the professional demeanor I had in mind, Clover. Hi, Gazelle. I'm Sam from Trend of the Moment magazine. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed the show. Thanks, but the truth is I owe everything to my agency. Really, I wouldn't exist without them. Yes, and we <gasps> wouldn't exist without her. I'm Helmut from Picture Perfect. I represent Gazelle. She single-handedly put our agency on the map. You're a modeling agent? That's right. So you'd know if I had what it takes to be a model? <sighs> My philosophy is that everyone has something about them that's perfect. In your case, it's your legs. So, you're saying I'm model material? Sorry, not quite. Come on, Gazelle, you need your beauty rest. Hmm. Gazelle, wait! You dropped your... <gasps> ear? I've sent the ear to Whoop for analysis. Our next move is to investigate Picture Perfect. Picture Perfect, please. I mean, what kind of pathetic agency are they anyway? Take that helmet mm -hmm. guy, for instance. He calls himself an agent. He would know a model if she's sashayed right into him. Come again. No matter what Helmet says, I know I'm model material. Special delivery. Huh? Uh, it's from the Groovy Smoothie Shack. It says I'm a finalist in the Miss Groovy Smoothie Beauty Contest. <laughs> this proves it. I am model material. Oh. Ouch! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Oh, good. We wouldn't want anything to happen to our favorite potential beauty queen. Ah! Ah! Oh, for... ah! Ah! Stretching out my perfect legs! Ah! They're trying to shake us off! Ah! 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 <laughs> okay. That was a little too close for comfort. Speaking of comfort, you want to get me out of this thing? Ah! Ah! Huh? Help me! Quick, look inside the helicopter and see if there are any clues. <gasps> the pilot has the Picture Perfect logo on his jacket. We better call Jerry. Hello, ladies. How's the Big Apple? Rotten, Jerry. Clover's been kidnapped. Oh, dear. That's the second time this month. What do you know about the Picture Perfect Modeling Agency? Well, let's see. Uh, apparently, it's run by an ex-model named Tuesday Tate. Their headquarters are in Sydney, Australia. Journalists from Trend of the Moment here to see Tuesday Tate. <gasps> you aren't on Ms. Tate's schedule. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> is it me, or is there something very familiar about that woman? Not to mention something very rude. Looks like we're gonna have to enter picture perfect the hard way. Never underestimate the power of a good accessory. <laughs> oh, look 
looks more like some kind of high-tech clinic than a modeling agency. <gasps> I wonder what's in here. Hey, check that out. Those are both gazelle? Man, talk about a split personality. Jackpot. Gazelle's donors. Stacy, Amy, Anna, Kelly, Gretchen. Sam here. Hello, ladies. I thought you'd be interested to know that the ear you sent me belongs to a model who was abducted last week. Her name is Gretchen. <gasps> Sam, that's... that's one of the names on the donor list. Donor list? I, I know what it seems like, Alex, but how could it be possible? Ahem. <clears throat> can I help you, ladies? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. We're journalists from Trend of the Moment, and... And we're here to interview you. Okay, but you'll have to make it snappy. I'm leaving soon for a model search in New Zealand. So, I hear you used to be a model, Miss Tate. Uh, why did you quit? I injured my leg at a photo shoot two years ago. It was a circus theme, and I was to play the role of lion tamer. Unfortunately, the lion tamed me. Now I have this. So why don't you uh, tell us about Picture Perfect and how it is that you've achieved this sudden success? Tuesday speaking. Oh, I see. Would you ladies mind moving to the waiting room down the hall while I take this call? No, not at all. No problem. Those two are definitely trouble. Well then, we better eliminate them. I'd say our interview's just been cut short. We better find Clover before it's too late. Get them. Oh! We have to get to that restricted area we found earlier. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Parts. That's how they created Gazelle. Right now, there's someone else out there running around with my perfect legs. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna get all of you out of here. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We can't just let you leave and risk you telling the world about our little secret. Why are you doing this? <laughs> leave me alone. It's simple, really. I want to create an army of perfect models so that I can dominate the industry that destroyed my career. Couldn't you just steal yourself a new leg instead? I mean, it seems like a lot less trouble. Hmm, you've got a point. But somehow my evil revenge plan just sounds like a lot more fun. Well, it'll never work. Perhaps you'll feel a little differently after my demonstration, darling. Hey, those are my legs! Correction. They were your legs. Now they belong to Picture Perfect, just like your friend's body parts are about to. Prepare to be modelized. I'll be getting plenty of new donors from all around the world at the Auckland Convention Center. I'm quite ready to dispose of you. Dispose of us? Yes. We're gonna dump you in the ocean, where you'll join a school of ferocious man-eating sharks for lunch. <laughs> about you girls, but I'm not ready to be fish food quite yet. Me neither. Even if I do look like a science experiment gone bad. Trust me, we'll be out of here in no time. Fine, I'll trust you. Just promise me you'll stop smiling because your braces are blinding me.
Idea, except for one thing. Now that you've knocked the pilot unconscious, who's gonna fly the plane? <gasps> okay, why am I doing this? Because the pedals are really hard to press, and you're the one with the uh, stout, powerful legs. <sighs> right. Oh, that skin, it's magnificent. We can definitely use you. I'd say your toes are among the loveliest specimens I've ever seen. Your picture-perfect material for sure. Now, why don't you step inside the model I... Uh, I mean, the photo booth, so we can take some pictures of you. That should be plenty. In a matter of minutes, we'll have ourselves an army of picture-perfect models. Tuesday and her key. There she is, on the other side of the convention center with helmet. Machine. You want the key? Go get it! Great. This is gonna be like trying to find a nail file in a haystack. Well, you'd better hurry, because once the modelizing process is complete, it'll be irreversible. Just a new feature I've added to the machine. What are you doing? Trying to locate the key with the Compowder fingerprint scanner. Bingo! Now let's get back to the girls. What about these two? Don't worry, we'll take care of them. So, you're sure about this? You're definitely dropping out. Absolutely. I've thought it over and I've decided that I've had enough modeling and beauty contests for one lifetime. The whole scene's just way too evil. Besides, ever since I got my legs back, I remember how gorgeous I truly am. I don't need anyone else's validation. I always knew you were beautiful and smart. Well, that's too bad, because you would have won. But since you dropped out, I'll be awarding the first runner-up your $25,000 cash and your brand new convertible sports car. Congratulations, Mandy! Thank you. Thank you one and all. $25,000? Huh? Wait, I was only kidding. It was a joke. I won. Oh, well, so much for Clover thinking the whole scene is evil. 